Hey guys, Caleb Brown, New Planner Recruiting here. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey, really appreciate uh, everybody's comments and the emails and the support on the channel. Just trying to put information out there to help you find a good fit and also succeed in your career as a financial planner. So thanks for tuning in. This week I want to talk a little bit about certain time horizons and timelines and intervals on where you should be, maybe skill set wise. So here I'm going to give you some some timelines, so two weeks, 30 days, 90 days, 180 days, and some ideas on where you should be or I think you should be based on my career, others I've mentored and managed, and then also the thousands of job seekers and candidates that we deal with every year. So after a couple weeks, you need to know who your coworkers are, who are the personalities, you know, what, who likes what, who does this, you know, what, what, uh, you know, what are their quirks, you know, what upsets them, you know, what not to do, what to do. Uh, your direct manager trying to get a feel for their style, dress code, office hours, have a good feel for that, you know, lockup policies or opening policies, ideal client profile, got to have that nailed down. You should really have, have probably had that before you accepted the job and understanding who the firm works best with, values, ethics, the philosophies, especially on investments and financial planning, why you do the things you do that way at the, at the firm. So that's after a couple weeks in, should have that. 30 days, so your month in, you should have a good sense on whether this is gonna be a good long-term fit for you. Basic familiarity with all the software programs that the firm is using. And it could be as little as one or two, or it could be a couple dozen that these, that these firms may use. So that might be asking a lot after one month, but just knowing where to go to log in and what each, have an idea of what each software program does, you're going to be you know, right where you should be. Answering the phone if someone calls in, hey, here's what we do, here's, our, here's how I route them to the right person. Uh, process and fees, again, for prospects that might be calling in or, or even current client. You know, just you know, remind me again how the fee stuff works and when am I charged or why did this get pulled out of my account? You need to be able to handle those. After three months, so how to, how to prepare meeting agendas, client meeting agendas, how to prepare you know, asset allocation reports. Any report that needs to be generated that's not overly complicated like a complicated estate planning a strategy or something that maybe a senior you know more associate planner would do but something where you can look at what has been done in the past and create something similar based off a template uh, any meeting prep and then reports that you know help the client come to a decision once you get the client there on zoom or in the person you need to have your ducks in a row and you've got to do what you can to support these senior people to get the client to make a decision. And I think also to calling clients, reaching out, hey, we need this, or hey, we haven't chatted in a while, what's, what's going on? Uh, hey, I wanted to introduce myself. Hopefully the firm already did that, but hey, we're missing um, your tax return. Can you send that? So just reaching out, you know, trying to you know, develop the confidence and the skills uh, and then 180 days, so closing in on, on, on six months, be able to cr create draft plans. So getting the data input in Money Guy Pro, eMoney, Right Capital, whatever it is, getting it to an associate planner where they can work with it, uh, coordinating any post-meeting follow-up, hey, they need to update the limits on their homeowner's insurance, or we need to get a tax return, or need a tax projection, or whatever it is, or you know, the, we need to renew our life insurance, working all that out so the client's life is made easier and just any other follow-up you can do to help your senior planners when they're working on a client situation i hope that was helpful hey it's going to depend on sort of where you are what kind of firm and you know just your own sort of personal personality and, and skill set but i wanted you to have a a place to start some of you may have been doing all that on day one some of you may take more than six months to do that and that's fine Set a goal for yourself, you can get there. See you next time. Bye-bye.